Notice. Our courses are taught in English. If you want to see subtitles in other languages, first, we open the subtitles closed captions at the bottom right of the video. Then click setting and select subtitles CC and click auto translate. Now you can choose your preferred language from the list. Hello everyone. Today we will introduce some easily damaged parts on the Avalon A921 hash board. Let's first look at this resistor. Its resistance value is 0 ohm. When this resistor is damaged, the LDO power supply through it will be affected. A 1.8 volt LDO chip. When this chip damaged, the ASIC chips of the current domain will not be able to get 1.8 volt power supply. It is a PLL 0.8 volt tube, and the damage of this chip will also affect the operation of the corresponding ASIC chips in this domain. This chip is an ASIC chip, and the state of the ASIC chip will affect the hash rate of the entire hash board. The resistor you see now is the network resistor. If there is a problem with signal transmission here, consider whether this resistors have dropped off or failed. This chip is the clock crystal. When damaged, the CLK signal of the hash board will not be generated. Let's look at this capacitor. This capacitor is a filter capacitor. If this capacitor is damaged, both power supply and signal transmission will be affected. One thirty D zero BRZ. After this chip is damaged, the control board will not receive the signal sent back by the hash board through the I/O interface. These are easily damaged accessories on the Avalon A921 hash board. If you have any questions, please leave a message.